Hello, it's uh, Rod here and Lisa. And uh, we thought we'd uh, tell you a little bit about the world of test learning and development. Yeah, so we're here just to talk about some of the courses that we offer to our clients at the moment or some of the potential courses we could offer your business. Yeah, uh, and they include such a wide variety, such as more sales and um, how to develop your sales and your business development side of your business. We also offer a lot of management courses and workshops. So this could be anything from a new to management type of course, so new to leadership, all the way up to middle and executive coaching and management courses for those that have managed for some time or are quite high up within a business. Yeah, we also do quite a lot of, uh, sort of teamwork and team building types of courses. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a flavour in terms of what that would look like as well and some of the activities that we do. And on top of that, we also offer customer experience programs or customer excellence programs. So those that work um, in a customer facing role could be face to face or over the phone, ways to enhance their skills or look to raise the level, raise the bar of their customer service. Okay, um, so the images you're seeing right now, some of the customers that we work with, um, so there's quite a wide variety of those. Um, as a whole, in terms of learning and development, we, we work with a lot of different types of businesses, we listen a lot to their solutions, so we won't go in quite hard with, you need to do it this way, we'll instead perhaps pull back and, um, you know, and listen to what their needs are before we then going hard again. We, we don't want to overuse the word bespoke um, but that really is what it is. We don't offer you something that's off the shelf because what works for another business may not actually work for you and the trick really is in the planning and the pre part of any course. The training is important yes but it's so important that the method and the um, points that are covered within the training are bang on the mark to the needs of the business so we're very good at working out what that is and working with you to make sure the course content is built to exactly what you and your people would need. Yeah. As Lisa's saying there, in terms of the actual training itself, it's really important that we get the training um, interactive, engaging and bite-sizey to the extent that people can easily try out some of the methodologies and the ideas that we're expressing within any of the given subject matters and then the post as well as equally if not more important what sort of things do we do for post so yeah we can offer mystery shopper calls um, that we'd do before and then post any training to see um, how um, the training has an impact and what's happened as a result we can do it through learner questionnaires which again would review the end and post training to work out what value the course has actually added because it would be all very well having a great day's training but what's changed as a result of having the training and what impact has that had on the business however i would just like you to take uh, take you back to the previous point about bite sizey i'm pretty sure that's not a word i mean we could have a vote on this click on the button to vote now as to whether bite sizey is an actual word bite sizey is a very <laughs> famous word it's originally latin i believe um and it means to do in small pieces bite size is a word yeah bite, size. bite sizey yeah. i think you should vote f for the no button i think i think <laughs> click the button i think you just think you got power see as you're holding the microphone i think that's what you think but no bite sizey as i say it's a latin expression uh if you go to certain parts of uh, latin america still mm. they will know exactly what you mean you can say you know can i have that bit of fish bite sizey all right mm -hmm. <laughs> and they get all they start slicing it and making weird sort of ding dong noises as they do it um so yeah i mean that's a very good point 